Hello everyone, MSC IPP applications are due on September 1st. In this video, we are going to talk about what you need to do in order to prepare these applications ready to be reviewed by the board. Hello everyone, this is Lieutenant Aaron Abreu, Medical Service Corps Healthcare Administrator for the United States Navy, and I'm here to talk to you about what are some of my tips now that there is less than three months to go uh, for the package submission. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. First things first, interviews. You need to make sure that your interviews are already set up or that your interviews are being done. There's less than three months left and a lot of MSC officers are busy. It's also PCS season, so it's kind of hard to schedule. Um, so if you're now just starting, I highly, highly recommend you connect with other MSC officers who may know O4s and above, because that is a requirement. It has to be a Lieutenant Commander and above that needs to do your appraisal. If you want to know more about the contents of the appraisal, how to prepare for the interview appraisals, we have a video about that on our library. So please tune in to that as well. Next thing are letters of recommendation. We need to make sure that when you are submitting your letters of recommendation to these individuals, uh, the requirement for LORs, by the way, are they need to be written by a commander and above. We have a full video by Lieutenant Commander Mo Taylor. He was a recorder for a couple of MSC IPP application, MSC IPP boards, and there's different flavors of letters of recommendation. I recommend, and I want to echo what's said on that video, that you need to make sure that you get these letter of recommendations from people that know you personally, the people that you've worked with. So please ensure that you are drafting this, you're preparing it, or you're getting them back from the people that you've requested them from. Test scores. Some of you may have taken test course from last year or the beginning of this year. Maybe they are not up to par. I recommend that you finalize these test scores, get them, or if you're about to take them in the next few weeks, hopefully you do well. There is a minimum required score. And talking to a couple of senior MSC officers who've sat the board, who were recorders at the board, a lot of them have echoed, um, especially the DFA from Portsmouth. We just had our symposium last time, and I'll create another video for that. He mentioned that grades are a very, very big thing for students that are trying to get commissioned via a student commissioning route, such as the MSC IPP. So if your scores are not up to par, it is recommendation of a lot of senior MSC officers. Again, this is not uh, a must, but it is highly recommended that you do finalize these test scores. This is probably the most important one. You need to get these packages reviewed by an MSC officer, by a mentor, somebody that you trust. Getting your package reviews is getting that second, third, fourth set of eyes to ensure that your grammar is correct, that you have everything in that application, and to also make sure that you are not straying away from what is being asked of you by the board. Here's what I would like to caution everyone. Remember, this is your application, so it needs to sound like you and you need to submit the best version of yourself to the board. Yes, mentors and other officers will give you guidance, but at the end of the day, these are just recommendations. You don't want your voice to get watered down, so ensure that you submit the application that truly represents yourself. And remember, September 1st, 2021 is the deadline for these applications. So make sure that you are doing the best you can to finalize everything. If you have not even started yet and you don't have any of these requirements that you talked about, or if you have no clue what I am talking about, maybe you are not ready to submit for this year. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but other individuals have prepared for this since last year. And honestly, it's that is a recommendation. You need to have at least 12 months to prepare for this 
submission. I've been repeating this a lot of times that you do not you do not have to wait for the nav admin. Historically speaking, the nav admin doesn't change much. It changes in terms of accreditation, possibly age waivers, but majority of the times the timeline stays the same and it's always around September when the packages are due. So I recommend that you do utilize this time to, to make those tweaks um, as September 1st is fast approaching. Hopefully you found some of those tips useful. Again, these are just recommendations from Latin Aaron Abreu. Um, if there's anything else that we can help you with, please do not hesitate to reach out via social media. Uh, we, are all, we also have an MSC IPP mentoring page. There's tons of Mustangs in that page. Feel free to post your questions, utilize the search box on that as well. It was a pleasure helping you out today, tonight, or whatever time you're watching it. So whether you're watching this uh, year 2021 or in the future, these tips, I believe, will still apply. Ciao.